Hello, welcome to the gameplay video. This video will show you some of the important concepts and highlights of gameplay. If you have not yet watched the CPR Game Basics video, please consider watching it first. It would take a long time to discuss all the details of gameplay, so please read through the website to learn more. Let's dive right in and check out the typical game screen. We have read the case vignette and are ready to play. Let's start by checking for a pulse. This is the first action we should always do when the game begins. It says there is no pulse, so let's start chest compressions by touching the hands above the patient. Our goal should be around 100 beats per minute. Since the patient is in distress, let's also get the patient on the monitor and ask a team member to establish IV access. In this case, our choice is peripheral IV. Now we can check the airway by touching the A icon. The airway is patent and no tracheal deviation is seen. Let's assess for breathing by touching the B icon. It says there are no spontaneous respirations. This is concerning and we should start ventilating the patient. To do this, we touch the airway icon in the second row and choose BVM. BVM stands for Bag Valve Mask. If you would like to know more about each airway device, please refer to the website. After we touch BVM, a red AMBU bag appears at the patient's head. It is red because no one is bagging the patient. To ask someone to help with bagging, simply touch the bag and it will turn green. The text CBR30-2 to means that for every 30 compressions, we are giving the patient two breaths. Remember to check for breath sounds. This step is very important. To check for breath sounds while bagging, we touch the B icon while the bag is green, and it says there is bilateral clear breath sounds. Now we have completed the primary survey and have initiated basic CPR. We can now start the secondary survey while continuing to address the primary survey. Now the monitor is on the patient and ready. To view the rhythm strip, we must first stop compressions. By touching the monitor, we are assessing the rhythm strip. It looks to be a slow and narrow rhythm. Does the patient have a pulse with this rhythm? Let's check. We press the C icon again, and it says no pulse. We conclude that the rhythm is pulseless electrical activity, commonly abbreviated PEA. Let's start compressions again and administer epinephrine per the ACLS protocol. To do this, we touch the IV located on the patient and select epinephrine 1 mg from the alphabetical list. If you are not familiar with the ACLS protocols and rhythm recognition, there is more information on the website. Now it's time to continue the secondary survey. Let's check disability and environment. The Glasgow Coma Score is 3. Please see the website if you do not know what this means. By touching the environment icon, we learn that the patient is thin and appears dehydrated. This should make you think about hypovolemia as the cause of arrest. We can review other causes of arrest by touching the H's and T's icon. Since we think she is dehydrated, let's go ahead and get some IV fluids going. We do this by touching the IV again and scrolling down to IV fluid bolus. So far we have completed the primary and secondary surveys, we evaluated the rhythm strip, and are searching for the underlying cause of cardiac arrest. We are going slow because it's a tutorial, but if we were going faster, we would be well on our way to winning the case. Remember that each case is different and requires a unique winning strategy, but this should get you started. If you would like to see a real-time winning example, please see that video, and have fun!